Hello, comrades. Welcome back to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. My name, of course, is Obed Potato. We are back in Karliningrad. That's right. It's looking really good. It's looking really, really good. Uh, we we had the first aircraft that rolled off the production line uh, in the last episode. We also had the second aircraft rolling off the production line, too. Uh, still, the thing that perturbs me the most is our lack of engineers. Highly qualified uh, citizens of the Republic have not yet properly been put to use. Same with the dry dock. There's a little, there's a little shortage of engineers here. It's more, it's more obvious in the airplane production line, uh, but it's still somewhat of a problem. I am gonna really just quickly check. There we go. That's a little bit better. Nice. Uh, yeah, so we need to we need to continue. We need to continue. We need to get the vehicle production line up and running as well. And to be honest, to be honest, that could be done right now. Is there a particular blueprint that I'm interested in building slash buying? I don't know, to be honest. I, I feel like maybe we try and build a, a western type vehicle here. What's the weight of this one? Empty weight is four tons. What's the heaviest? What's the heaviest truck that we can really buy? Probably this, the CL Matador. Although these are 8 tons as well. I mean, what's the most expensive blueprint? This one, 13 tons. Now, 13 tons is usually, I believe, just slightly too large to be transported on the back of an open hull truck. However, that being said, what's the carrying capacity of these modded mass trucks? 50 tons can load vehicles on flatbed, 50 tons. Okay, so I mean, this is this is brilliant. I I think that this is what we do. I think we start work. I think we start work on a uh, on a western bus. The FI-2472. Is, is that a Fiat? I, I'm not quite sure. But this is the most expensive blueprint that we have access to. And to be honest, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't, uh, why we shouldn't immediately start working on, uh, on this. I mean, maybe the, the reason, uh, truthfully, maybe the reason is that we already have uh, all of our engineers and our workers completely utilized. But to be honest, that is, that is not a good enough reason. Look at that. We're actually turning workers away. We're turning workers away, and obviously this is still, you know, highly problematic because we need to, we need to, we need to train more engineers, and I'm working on it, I'm trying, but, you know, we'll, we'll worry about that in just a second. Let's, let's turn this, let's turn this area on. So, first things first, we need to take out a little bit of a loan, that classic potato, am I right? Uh, 7.2%, that's, that's actually okay. You know what, why don't I not take out a five-year loan this time? Why don't I take out, like, a... Why do I take out a smaller loan? A one-year loan. No, that's that's maybe pushing it a little bit. A two-year loan sounds entirely reasonable to me. 4.8%. Fine. And then we can buy the blueprint. The blueprint is going to cost us basically a million, uh, a million bucks uh, straight up. And we're going to set the blueprint to be, uh, to be in production. Then we are going to pause the game. We are going to allocate this as a place of work. And I suspect that it's already going to be in range. Yep, it's totally, absolutely categorically within range, which is just grand. And we should be able to start work pretty much immediately, to be honest. Pretty much immediately. Now, we don't have a output place for the cars at this moment in time. We could maybe squeeze in a car output over here. Uh, what is it? It's in... Duh, 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 duh. Car dealer. Space for vehicles. Space for vehicles slash containers large. Yeah, we could maybe squeeze one in here or maybe even a small storage space. Almost certainly we could squeeze in a small storage space. Is it really worth it, though? It might be worth it. We could also squeeze it in at this side. Um, I'm not really particularly interested in that at all, actually. We can we can worry about that later. I, I really, frankly, do not care about it. It's not a, not a big deal. Uh, what is kind of a big deal is that we are very low on steel, actually. We are very low on steel. What's up here? Are we... We're in need of resources. We're in need of resources, and we're probably in need of steel, right? I suspect that, yeah, we're, we're out of steel here. So we, we were supposedly... We were supposedly getting a, a pretty regular delivery of steel right over to this open storage right over yonder. Uh, but that has not really happened. Let's not really happen. Let's have a little look at this medium distribution office and see what the issue is here. Is it a issue? Yeah. Okay, so this is a little bit of a problem. Uh, there's probably a multitude of reasons as to why this is uh, this is causing some issues. 
Issue number one is that our steel train is hogging all of the steel, which is problematic. Uh, the solution is twofold. Uh, seriously, the solution is to actually double down and get more steel production. I know that sounds absolutely insane, but I, I think that that is the preferred solution. I'm just going to say it straight out the gates. Uh, the other solution is maybe just to is maybe just to set uh, another steel storage yard as a collection point, which might in the short term fix the problem storage yard small something like this you know stick it around the back over uh over here yeah so something like that would probably be acceptable yeah something like that we uh squeeze it in again I will build this. I will build this. We'll we'll give this one a little test, shall we? Uh, okay, I had the I had the answer, and suddenly it just disappeared. Okay, we found it again. Brilliant. Let's do it. Let's build it. Let's build it with rubles. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Because steel deliveries to the car production area is no longer a a option. We need it to be consistent, and it needs to be. It needs to be. Uh, it needs to be regular. Consistent, regular. I know those are synonyms. Frankly, it's just worth repeating. Uh, we need we need lots of steel. We need lots of steel, and we need it a lot. <laughs> That's right. It's right. It's absolutely categorically right that we do need it a lot. Also, we are running out of coal here. We're running out of coal at a unfortunately rapid rate of knots. See, you know what I think we're going to do? Um, I think we're actually going to see... I don't really want to do it, but I think we're going to see if we can try and move our coal by train over to this area. I know that I've been sort of holding off on building this ridiculously long, this ridiculously long train route, but is today that day where we actually do it? Unironically, it's the only thing that's, that's really holding us back. And we need a lot of steel. Don't get me wrong. Like we are, like we are in desperate need of steel. We are in very, very desperate need of steel. Also, I will say the rail construction office has done a tremendous job, an absolutely tremendous job of building pretty much everything uh, that it's allowed to. It's literally just got this last singular bit of railroad to finish up. Uh, that's that's quite impressive. That's very, very impressive indeed. I am highly impressed, highly impressed with such such levels of efficiency. So we need to rework this area a little bit. We need to rework this area and allow for the escape of a train. I'm just conscious of the fact that it is going to cost me such an inordinately large amount of money that I almost feel it's not worth even considering. It's not worth even considering, you know, building a cross-country, a cross-country rail railway. It can't be electrical. Electrified railway, unfortunately, is just going to be, you know, far too much. But then again... Is it going to be worth it? I think the answer is is yes. You know, I think the answer is yes. Okay, so let's let's go about fixing it. Let's go about fixing fixing something like this up. So this is uh, actually quite an easy fix. A little bit of an easier fix than I originally anticipated. Two two decisions that we really have to make. Two decisions that we really have to make over here. This is, by the way, this is going to be the loading for the coal area. So we need to obviously uh, prioritize this area. This setup is uh, a little bit a little bit daft, actually. There is no way that we can't just integrate these two lines onto the existing two lines. To be honest, this only needs to be one singular output. I don't even know why it's... I don't know why it's two. So the train... The entry point is here. So it comes in here, or it splits all the way. This is very poorly designed, but actually it doesn't really matter. Uh, we should just be able to... We should just be able to summarize to, like, one single line. So just take all of that back. Funnel that in there. Funnel this in here. Brilliant. And funnel that in there. That's it, really. That's that's kind of all that's required. Um, not really much more to say about it, to be honest. That's That's just, that's just it. Now, this solution over here is... How on earth... Okay, alright. How on earth is that allowed? Can we do... 
Right. I'm still not entirely sure that I know what the rules of this game are. And this is this is very strange. It said that this was this was not too close to an intersection, even though it's closer to an intersection than the other one that I was the other uh, route that I was trying to draw. Anyway, uh, it doesn't particularly matter for all of our intents and purposes. We should be able to reasonably quickly. There we go. Around here. Around here. Beautiful. Okay. So this... This is the... This is the output. This is the output. So this is going to be the track that... Oh, really? 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 This is going to be the one that travels all the way back to the other area. Also, we're going to need to make sure that we get a bridge across here. We'll worry about that in a second. Let's worry about the input to this area. The input to this area I kind of have coming around the entirety of the city. Is that necessary? Does it really need to go around the entirety of the city? I actually think that it doesn't. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to insert a... I'm going to insert a cheeky... a cheeky track right over here. This kind of wasn't the intention, but it's it's pretty easy to do. We may have to, you know, remove a rogue power pole or two. Okay, all right. Or diverge a little bit here. Unbelievable that I have to do that because it's too close to an existing intersection. Is there... Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on there. It doesn't particularly matter. As long as we can get a walk route or a road route between, uh, between the power plant... Uh, between the power plant... Between the heating heating station, we should be just fine. Okay, and then this this is gonna come over here. Although I'm gonna I'm gonna do something really cheeky. So you know, if you're if you're not into cheekiness, please please do away do look away now. This is this is a little bit a little bit uh, a little bit of bad practice here. So this was originally intended. Excuse me. There we go. Originally intended to be a single way setup, and it still will be a single way setup. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to utilize this conveyor to take the trains that are coming in from this direction. So this is what northeast. Well, I don't know if it's the cardinal directions necessarily, but you know, from this side of the map to this side of the map, and then we'll just have just have the railway cross across here, down here. And then we'll just follow this around. And then maybe we just want to sort of inject. Do I really need... Do I really need all these rails? I mean, I know that we've got this wonderful, like, splitting point over here. Do I really need to keep it? It just seems like a, a bit of a waste of time just to, you know, build a whole track all the way down here. Just to... Just to just to add it to the existing infrastructure, but I guess if we, I guess if we have it, we might as well use it, eh? Okay, so that's actually looking pretty good. So that the total build cost for this, which is basically all of the intricate detail that needs to be done, uh, two hundred thirty thousand rubles. Um, I mean that doesn't really sit super well with me, to be honest, but it's okay, it's okay. Okay, and then we want a max speed, a max speed truss bridge. There we go, and we want to make sure that this is appropriately high up so that it doesn't interfere with any of the shenanigans that will be happening below it. By shenanigans, I do, of course, mean uh, legitimate transportation of uh, bauxite products. There we go. Also, I am aware that this is the most expensive type of bridge to be using. Is that high enough? Oh, that's that's plenty high. That's plenty, plenty high. Absolutely grand. Some other infrastructures in the way. That road is going. I, I gotta be honest, that road is going. It's not imperative that it even remains there at this present moment. Okay. Can we... Yep, there we go. Beautiful. Is that is that a parallel height? A parallel height. As if there was such a thing. Oh. There we go. Yep. Beautiful. And right the way down. I mean, that's perfect. That That is a very, very expensive bridge. But to be honest, do we have any choice? No. Uh, because I actually need coal right now. Uh, I, I need this to happen. I honestly need this to happen yesterday. It's, it's pretty imperative that we get this done as quickly as we possibly can. 
Uh, okay, we need to split this section of track, or split the section of road so that we can remove this one. And then we will do... Because we still need it. We still need a connection over here, right? Yeah, we'll do something like that. We'll do something like that. I mean, this bridge is very, very close to being done. We just need some. Uh, we just need some last bits and bobs to be delivered, and we will be grand. Okay, so, Boosh, are you gonna allow? No, nope, you're not gonna allow another track through there. That's frustrating, but that's fine. Okay, once the once the intricacies are uh, are dispensed with. We, we should be grand. I just need to make sure that we absolutely categorically get this right. It doesn't need to necessarily look pretty down here. It just needs to... Ugh, okay. I was kind of thinking, oh, we'll just move this one out to the left and we'll just bring this one straight through. And yet, that's... Uh, that's not allowed, apparently. Okay, you know what? We got a nice little feature. Let's pretend that this is... Let's pretend that this is absolutely categorically intentional and not... Uh, and not just a total waste of time. Right, and then what's the most direct route as the crow flies from where we are to here? Basically just follows follows the road, roops alone around to the left of Bolshoi Alamon. Okay. Great. Needs to be jeweled the whole darned way, of course. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be, but it, you know, it does if we want to ensure any degree of scalability. Okay, good. Man, this game does not play well with long bits of railway. Okay. Yep, good stuff. And good stuff, but we're going to have to do a nice little a nice little feature here. Definitely, you know, definitely on purpose. There we go. Looking good. And that's actually it's actually pretty close to where we need to be. Although, to be honest, kind of feel like we might be better versed just sort of taking this back. And have another crack, because the direction should probably be a little bit more, a little bit more like that. Yeah. Okay, what's the total build cost for this? Honestly, less than a million rubles is highly surprising. If I could do all of this, this building stuff with less than, uh, with less than a, you know, a single big two million ruble loan. I would be very, very happy, to be honest. That would be... That would be great. Okay. So, something like this. Something like this, something like this. Okay. Let's... Let's leave this here for now. Let's make sure that the other end... Uh, over at Kolovskysky. Let's make sure that all of that is connected up. Because we need to... Oh, boy. Okay. We haven't done... We haven't done this section yet, have we? Right, let's let's do this, but let's do this in a sort of weird way. I want to do something like this. I want to do something like this. Nice. Okay. Really? Really, 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 really. Okay. Well, you know what? It's it's fine. We're in the the final stretch here. It's not going to be too difficult to make this uh, to make this happen. Boop. 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 Nice. Okay, now, there is definitely going to be a route for this to find a way through the big pylons, because big pylons are very, very easy to plot, as opposed to small pylons. Small pylons are just a little bit of a pain in the backside, to be honest, but that's fine. I just can't be bothered. I can't be bothered replacing them, and uh, we're just going to have to live with this. Why Why can't I be bothered replacing them? Uh, look, it's just going to take more money, isn't it? It's just going to take more money. And I do have the money, or I will have the money if I take out a couple of loans, but I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, okay, so this is, you know, the, the total bill for this entire operation is going to come to about 2 million rubles. 
because I am going to auto-build it, of course. I don't want to wait, you know, 27 years for this all to get, uh, for all this all to get done. But that being said, is it the right thing to do? Yes, I think that it is. I think that it absolutely categorically is. So let's auto-build that. Let's get another ruble loan. What's the rate of interest? 6.5%. We've never been, we've never been borrowing at a more attractive rate, to be honest. 6.7 for the, um, for the next one. I am also going to take that out. The reason that I'm going to need to take that out is because I am convinced. I'm convinced that I'm going to need to buy some trains for this massive stretch of uh, track. And to be honest, maybe it's a good opportunity to, to think about using big trains. Because I've never really used big trains before. And it would be very, very, very cool to, to experiment with them for the first time. Uh, either way, let's also fix up this area. So, I mean... There. Easy peasy. Uh, we need to fix up some high voltage power cabling, which is also kind of easy. Nice. Okay. Well, let's watch the the cash absolutely drain from the the bank accounts here. But truth be told, a worthy investment, a worthy investment of 1.6 million rubles in order to get this entire area up and running. Now. We need to think about this end over here, because this is going to be constructed. We need to make sure that this is built. And to be honest, we need to also think about how we're going to connect it up via conveyor belt. And we also need to think about what, what we have happening over here. Like, what we could have happening is we could have, we could have the, the import coal, the coal import routes just coming into this specific ag aggregate unloading. And then we could have all of the locally moved coal. We could move that to... We could move that to here, you know, on, we could move that to this aggregate unloading via these tracks here, and then just keep the whole process separate. I think for now, we'll do that. Although long-term, I actually don't like that solution because it doesn't allow us to scale up local coal imports or, you know, uh, foreign coal imports or or anything like that. So I'm, I'm not exactly certain that long term we're going to be uh we're going to be dealing with that uh but you know we'll we'll think about it we'll think about it okay can i just connect this up in a oneer can't build you to infrastructure well i mean that's surprising to be honest that's exactly how i kind of expected that to work brilliance brilliance and Brilliant. Okay, so this is now this is now a very very simple setup. To be honest, we need to get we need to get. Uh, ooh, let's actually check to make sure what's input and what's output here. So this is output. Yeah, this is output. Left is output. Left is output. Right is input. So that means I want to try and keep the direction like roughly the same. Oh, actually, this is okay. You know what? This is this is fine. This is fine. I wanted to try and keep the direction the same, but I realize now that that is an impossibility. Okay, brilliant and Just link this. Yeah, link that up there. That's uh, that's actually kind of perfect. All right, and then output basically just leads right across here, right across there. Perfect. Merge in over here. Fine. I mean, look, if it's a little, if it's a little nasty, that's okay. We we don't necessarily mind about it being a little bit nasty. Okay. This could actually be configured to work in either direction, but the way in which it's going to work is like so. And this should just be... This should just be good. Should just allow everything to work. Cool. Yep. Excellent. All right, that is... That is perfect. That is absolutely perfect. That is great. And look at this. All of our trucks, I bet, yep, they're still chilling here. That means that we need more that means that we need more coal. That means that we need more steel. It's also not just coal that we're after, I will say. But it's you know, a lot of our problems are due to coal. We're just not able to get enough coal. Uh, it's also people, right? We also just want more workers. 
more workers in Stalnoy. A couple of additional workers in Stalnoy would make a pretty huge difference. Probably more trains as well. Uh, although, to be honest, it looks like most people are waiting on the platform for less than their prescribed hour, which is the maximum, of course, before they decide, ah, I'm not going to work today. I'm just going to go home and chill out instead, uh, which is fine. We also need to get this area fixed up. That's fine. Brilliant. And we also need to get this built as well. It's a little bit of a shame that we need to do it, but it's okay. Uh, we also need to connect this up to the to the network here, to the uh, the export network. But ah, you know what? We'll worry about that in just a second. Let's let's get the trains. Let's get the trains set up. And truth be told, I should probably before we do the train setup, I should probably get the signal setup done accordingly. Right. Let's do this. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, does that work? Does that work? I think that it does. I think that it does. And then that's in there. That's in there. Output, output, outputs. Brilliant. Okay, well, I think that that's, I think that's just about good, to be honest. Again, I'm not really entirely sure of the whole design of this area. It was kind of done so far in advance that it approaches, you know, a level of irrelevance that is somewhat interesting. But let's just, uh, there we go, do something like this. We can always add more signals in later. We're going to need a lot of trains for this route, by the way. I'm under no I'm under no illusions that we're going to need a lot of trains, and trains are going to cost an extraordinary amount of money. Hence why I took out that extra 2 million ruble loan. Cool. There we go, and... Uh, that's us. That's us looking. That's us looking pretty darn good, if I do indeed say so myself. Uh, okay, train time. Where do we want to get? Where do we want to get a train depot? I feel like on the outskirts here would be would be pretty perfect. Like this area here is is striking me as a pretty good place to start. Uh, so we can get a long train depot, right? Like I've never built this before, so this is brand new to me. This is absolutely brand new to me. Here seems pretty okay. How much is this going to cost me? One hundred nine thousand rubles. Honestly, I'll pay that price. I'll pay that price. Also, 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 something that I have not built on this line is a diesel fill-up station. Yeah, uh, that is highly problematic, actually. That is highly problematic. I'm going to insert one right about here, if it'll fit. If it'll fit. No guarantee, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. Might have been better to electrify this, but seriously, I'm not sure that that would have been that would have been that would have been very very bad for the bottom line, undoubtedly. Right, this this will fit if we if we sort of bend the rules a little bit. Okay, can I even bend this road? No. Okay. Well, not without not without causing a little bit of a little bit of a huff. Fine. This is okay. We can we can afford to take this back a little bit. There we go. Nice. And boop and boop. What do you know? We are looking good. Okay. So that is at least one place that fuel can be can be had. I think we should probably have like another place as well. Maybe up at this end. Yeah, probably up at this end. This seems like the smart thing to do. But again, you know, electrical connections probably going to be the biggest pain in the backside for this area. Which I don't exactly love, but ah, you know what? If we have to deal with it, then we have to deal with it. We have to deal with, with one bugbear, whether it's electrical connections or that's not the right one. We need to deal with uh, we need to deal with either electrical connections or fuel. 
it's just it just so happens that fuel is uh fuel is oftentimes just a little bit more uh, a little bit more of an irritant to to work with because the pathing of trains can be like really funky sometimes but we don't need to worry about it not too much at the moment uh, i'm just getting some rudimentary roads so that we can have some sort of fire connection whether that means anything or not i i guess we'll i guess we'll have to see uh, we're also going to need to get a power connection over here. So I'm pretty sure that's out of range. Yep. Fine. And we are absolutely out of power. Okay, you know what? Just throw this in here. Medium voltage switch. Yep. Here we go. Build, build, build. Great. Okay. Well, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see exactly how much this ends up costing. Let's auto supply with rubles at the moment. I'm not super bothered about about supplying about supplying fuel, uh, mostly because I know that this is a little bit of an inaccessible an inaccessible station, unless. Aha! What do you know? What do you know? Looking good. Okay, well, we're still going to auto purchase with rubles. You know, if we can if we can get a dedicated uh, a dedicated uh, a dedicated fuel setup uh, running, then that would be great. If not, no big deal. This needs to be built. Brilliant. Anything else needs to be built? Don't think so. We just need to get the connections up and running. And repairing any electrical lines. I'm almost certain that I torpedoed a couple of electrical lines to make this work. But I can't remember where. This is the problem. Ah, here. I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew I did I, I did something wrong. Okay. Okay. Alright, so next most important thing, I guess, probably the outputs. Probably the outputs, then we can finally turn our attention to the fun thing, which is getting the trains up and running. Very, very excited about that. Uh, okay, I mean, look, with the standing conveyors, it, it should really be a breeze to get this set up. Oh, wow, this actually just works so well, doesn't it? It's auto-build with rubles, this? Yep. I mean, that's going to do it in one, right? That's going to do it in one if I very astutely squeeze in a I mean this is just so unbelievable this just this actually makes the game so much easier look at that look at that it auto builds freaking everything apart from the fact that it absolutely did not auto build everything there irritatingly um you promised me you promised me a connection here uh video game and yet you you did not deliver All right, well, there you go. We'll get another tower. Either way, I mean, this basically fixes all of our problems just like that. Just with one single transfer node. Yeah. Brilliant. Yep, that's it. Okay, well, that was very anticlimactic. Uh, it looks very cool, actually. It looks remarkably well organized, if I do indeed say so myself. I, I will say, the foundation of, of this setup here, I'm, I'm pretty proud of, to be honest. I'm, I'm pretty proud of that. I'm pretty proud that it ended up properly working out. Let's continue construction of this ore processing unit because we're going to need it up and running uh, probably much sooner than we than we think. Uh, the Royal Wii there. Uh, right, so directionality of the track is such that we just need to yoink this in here, that in there. Brilliant. It's already on auto build. We'll turn that off though. It's a, it's a bit of a bad habit to, to get into. And then we're pretty much ready to start discussing what we want to do with uh, with our locomotives. And to be honest, what's the best train that we can get? 95, 100? Really? 100 is the best that we can get? I mean, I don't love that, actually. Engine power. What's the, what's the biggest engine power? This one here? This one's the best one. Okay, that many seems good. Cargo wagons. It is open car. No, it's not open car. It is hopper car. It's not even the big type of hopper car. 
Also, we're gonna need more rubles for sure. How how long can I make the can I make the train? Twenty cars long. I mean, if I can make it twenty cars long, big big excitement uh, on on my part. Let's send you over here. Wait until loaded, coal, and then unload over. Uh, Stanloy, yep, close. Here. Oh. There we go. All right, can we give it a shot? Can we see if this actually works? I mean, it's going to be slow as anything, right? But it's going to get up to speed. It's going to get up to speed. It's got to get up to speed eventually, I'm sure. Also, we're now completely out of rubles. Stick it into two times speed. Let's see. Uh, let's see how fast it operates. Load 100% of coal. Yep. Wait until loaded. Beautiful. Okay. I want to see. Just as a little sort of proof of concept, will this work? I presume that it's not going to have any issues getting over the bridge. Yeah. That's fine. That's actually completely, completely fine. So what's the maximum carrying capacity of this? Wow. Okay. It's 1,000. 1,860 tons of coal, which, let me tell you, is just shy of the large aggregate storage area here. Wow, that's, um, remarkable, I would say. That's actually quite a lot. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, uh, that's quite a lot of, it's quite a lot of coal right there. Quite a lot of coal. How long is it going to take? Resources available from tower. Yeah, that's okay. How long is it going to take to actually load this train up? And also, what is the maximum length? Because I, I feel like we got to try. We got to try and hit max length, right? Come on. We can't not. We can't not try and hit max length. Okay. The loading should be in, uh, in progress. It's looking very, very good thus far. Also, we are working on the, the ore processing site. We're working to get uh, to get concrete delivered, which is great. Very, very happy with that. Also, let's restart construction of this. Why not? We need it. I will say, this is kind of a risky maneuver. I mean, there's a lot of... Oh, look at, look at that. Okay, we need more. We, we're going to need more coal miners for sure. Uh, actually, yeah. Yeah, th this is somewhat of a problem. We're going to need more people living and working in Kolovskaisky. Mark my words. This is not going to be enough. We're going to need we're going to need much more stuff happening here. If, if this is one singular train that ends up depleting most of our reserves of raw ore and then processed coal too, in order to keep the lights on, it's pretty imperative that we have a... Uh, we have a pretty robust coal refining system here. I will say this is perfect though. 20 cars, 20 cars long is is brilliant. Like, that's... I mean, that's just perfect. It's just absolutely perfect. It's just a shame that I've already bought seven, en seven engines, and uh, I need to now try and balance to seven engines, which apparently I'm going to try and do. Fire truck has been called. Brilliant. Not anticipating any problems. That's cool. That's that's cool indeed. Uh, right. Kolovskaisky, are we able to get a few more... We able to get a few more bits and bobs done over here. Also, have we got... Oh, yeah, we totally do. Look at that. That's great. Uh, so we've got the headquarters of the Communist Party up and running, which is great because it means that we can actually properly start educating people. And to be honest, in order to speed this up, it might be worth me just seeing if I can go into an empty building. Yeah, this one. And inviting like a good number of, uh, a good number of educated immigrants in. And I will borrow... I will borrow another 2 million rubles. I mean, I'm going to at least get one other large train up and running. Either way, this area should pretty much just self-sustain. I, I think that it should. Uh, we've got, like, what? A couple... A couple of, of buildings that are being worked on at this very moment in time. And, in fact, they all should really complete very, very shortly indeed. Most of them have the resources on the construction site that they need to finish. And the, the ones that don't need, like, a very, very, very small amount of steel. Yeah. Hmm. I, I wonder almost if it's... 
if it's worth maybe a bespoke uh, a bespoke bus route to the coal mine. Might be might be an idea. Might be an idea. This area needs to be sort of hollowed out a little bit. I need to I need to refine what we've got going on here. Because I don't I don't exactly love I don't exactly love what's going on. Uh, some citizens are unable to visit a hospital. Did I not place down a clinic here? Or something akin to a clinic? I don't think that I did. Which is uh, a bit of a pain in the backside, actually. But not to, not to worry. We can we can plonk down a little uh, a little clinic here. There we go. Auto build that. Beautiful. Let's let's go. And there we go. As you can see, twenty one story prefab flat has just been has just been built, which is wonderful. No doctors with higher education. Honestly, not a problem. Honestly, not a problem. We could move some people from Turistovsky. Although now that I think about it, do I really want to do that? given that I have a also shortage of engineers over here. Yeah, engineers are still the biggest problem that we have, uh, which is, I mean, deeply frustrating on many, many levels. Uh, also, this, this area is looking really great. Look at this. Look at this number of finished vehicles that we have. Okay, um, this, is a, this is an easy one. This is an easy one for us. I know exactly how we address this. So what we do is we buy... Where's the nearest vehicle depot? That's a construction depot. The nearest vehicle depot must be... Is it really the vehicle depot at the border? Okay, alright. I didn't think that it was, but I guess uh, I guess it is. Let's sell some of these. Sell all, in fact, because they're garbage. And let's instead see if we can try and get open hull. Boom. We'll get two. Get two Maz trucks. Maz trucks, new stop. We will say right over there. Wait until loaded. Load vehicles, containers. Uh, wait until loaded, I guess. Might as well unload 100% of anything. Launch, focus on the vehicle, copy the orders, and set that out as well. Cool. So now we're we're basically going to see a huge increase in the amount of dollars that we that we have. I mean, look at that. 39... Ah, well, you know, actually, tell you what, it's not It's not a huge... It's not a huge amount. It would be better if it was rubles, potentially. But I need dollars right now, right? Like, dollars are... Uh, dollars are what's in demand. Maybe. Maybe if we get on top of our steel production issue, then then that would be great. But until then, I unfortunately think that we're going to... We're going to continue to to sell stuff in dollars. The reason being is that this... This area here is is all kitted out. We can we can turn on auto purchasing of steel at any moment if we need to. I don't need to at the moment, which is great. But we could you know we could turn it on uh, in a jiffy, uh, and we would be using dollars to to import there. So you know we we want to make sure that we have a, a good a good supply of dollars. Uh, rubles we seem to be fine for. We seem to be we seem to be managing to convince uh, a whole bunch of a whole bunch of tourists. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, you're distributing steel to somewhere else. Fine. We seem to be we seem to be uh, convincing a whole bunch of tourists to to come to to come to the glorious republic from other from other Soviet countries. So you know, I, I don't think that I can necessarily be too too unhappy with that. I now 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 I haven't done this for the entirety of the game, but you know, the fact that I'm however many episodes in shouldn't really be uh, be much of a deterrence. What I could do is I could just straight up move the people that we already have in a couple of these old houses. So a couple of the big ones really are probably what's most uh, worth my time. But there's a couple of big houses kicking around, right? I mean, these these houses have got like 75 apiece, 57 apiece in there. I mean, it does kind of gut the town for the future. But I mean, if I'm not really planning to do anything with these towns, might as well, might as well just move them across to a town of my choosing. Now, there's not many houses that are big enough to justify uh, moving people, but that... Is there seriously only two towns on the map that I haven't touched? Really? Well, I guess there's a tiny little one over here. Wait, that, I guess so. I guess that's it. Okay, well, anyway, uh, the thing is, is that we are going to deal with that in just a second. Uh, but I am, for now, going to go into... Kolovskysky, and I'm just going to move basically let me just check this is all within range. Kindergarten is not within range, but to be honest that's because of the brutally bad 
road conditions here. Yeah, so if we upgrade the road, we'll probably be fine. Yeah, fine. Okay, well, you know what? We'll do We'll do that in the first instance. Walk speed, yep. There we go, there we go, there we go. Perfect. I could I could set up uh, I could set up a walk route, but it's fine. Anyway, let's move let's move all of these people. Move all these people, and we don't necessarily need to demolish. We can leave it standing. Might come in handy in the future, and that gives us what two hundred and something people that are that are now free, which is great. And kindergarten is still not within walk range. Which is, honestly, somewhat of a surprise. Kind of figured that it would be. Very, very surprised by that. It's okay. What we can do is basically create a sort of walk route next to the road that will absolutely make that uh, all within range. The other problem is connection to the university, which similarly should not be... Too much of a problem. Yeah, there we go. Brilliant. Perfect. And this should be, yep, within walk range of pretty much everywhere. So that's great. That's 200 extra, that's 200 extra people. Of course, these people are going to commute to the bus stop. That's exactly where they should be going. And from the bus stop, they should be taken, you know, most importantly to the center of town. In the center of town, they will be able to, to distribute to uh, gymnasium there. I mean... Do I want you to be going to the gymnasium, people? Not particularly. Uh, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to shut down the gymnasium. Let's leave this on. Leave the city hall accounting office on. Leave the hospital on. It's actually kind of important. Fire station's kind of important. Kindergarten, turn off. Anything else that is remotely sort of... similar can be turned off. Cinema, turn off. Shopping center, turn off. School, turn off. Is that it? I think that's it. We want to we want to focus up on work here. Does mean that I'm going to need to build a gym. Also probably need to build a cinema. But that's actually okay because we can just take our... Take our time. Demolish a couple of these puny houses that are a bit useless. There we go. Yeah. Brilliance. Alright. Now we've got now we got a proper now we got a proper thing going here. This is this is excellent. A couple of things that we probably want to do. Get a warp route through here. Perfect. Okay, nice. Walk routes everywhere over here. Walk routes are very, very important for the the grand the grand plan. Because this, this is going to be the area that we add in, ideally, a gym and also a cinema. Probably going to be modded constructions of both. Gym, 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 gym. It's a sports playground, isn't it? Yeah. Level 3 gym. There we go. Beautiful. And also a cinema. Man, having a modded small cinema is so nice, because the, the cinema is just one of these buildings that is just absolutely abysmal. It's it's really, really bad. Also, let's get this road just properly upgraded to not terrible. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so that even if the, the walkway doesn't necessarily work because it's a little bit of a little bit of a pain in the backside to get it up and running, we should be able to at least yeah, hit most of the town. In fact, I think it's all of it, actually. Yeah, we're actually able to hit all of the town with both the gym and also with the cinema, which is wonderful. So that should translate into a much larger percentage of people actually going to work at the coal mine. Already, you can see we're up to, like, 92 or something. Uh, turn off auto-purchase of, of goods. Yeah, let's not, let's not do that. Because we are okay for coal. We are okay for coal. Obviously, we're 
Gonna try and see if we can maybe push our coal production up a little bit. This is not within walking range of the bus platform, which is a bit of a pain in the backside, actually, because I was kind of hoping that it would be. Yeah, like, I, I, I thought that it was. I thought that it was within range of the bus station. Uh, but no matter. I tell you why that's no matter. The reason that it's no matter at all is that we could really be doing with another bus station in here anyway. Because our capacity our capacity uh, of the bus station in the center town is already pretty close to, to being maxed out. And besides, it would be great to have a bus stop that is solely focused on the provision of labor to the coal processing and also to the coal mine. So that would be really, really good. There we go. And we'll buy some buses down here. This is great. Don't think that I've forgotten. Don't think that I've forgotten about the... Eight. Sure, that's probably overkill, but it's fine. Don't think that I've forgotten about the trains, by the way. We are... We're still going to do that. Get out and in. And... Get out and in. Beautiful. Dispatch, 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 dispatch. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alrighty, this is this is looking this is looking spicy. This is looking this is looking brilliant. This is looking excellent. Also, uh, has my coal train arrived yet? It's, it's been a little bit of a long time since I checked, but yeah, it's 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 all route at the moment. It's all route. Also, how are things going over here? Things are going good. Things are going good, but we need more people. We need more people. I mean, is there... I mean, there's a couple of people waiting to be transported up here, but not too many. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you know, I think we actually just straight up need more people in Stalnoy. So, let's, let's work towards doing that immediately. Okay, some sacrifices must be made. Wow, every single residential building is full here. It's remarkable. Stanoy is... Stanoy is popping. It's the place to be. Alright. But no matter, we shall still... Oops. We shall still fix things up for the uh, for the good people of Stanoy. Uh, to be honest, to be brutally honest, I don't care about the good people of Stanoy. It, it doesn't matter to me. What, what matters to me is my is my production in the uh, in the steel mill. That's That's what really matters, right? Okay, good. And maybe connect up the back. Oh, that's... That's hot. That works. It's a little... It's a little tight, but I, I think maybe... Maybe... Oh, come on. Video game. Video game. Oh, no. It's such a shame as well, because I know that it, it wants to. If that road wasn't there, it would be great. But this... This is this is, is good. It does work, but it's not going to auto-connect the path for me, which means that I suspect my chances... Yeah, my chances of connecting up a path are, are equally slim. Unless I actually delete that... Bit of a... Actually, is that... That's not even close to a nuclear option, you know? That's not even close to a nuclear option. Too sharp of a turn. Uh, for real, how on earth is this not connecting? One fails to see. There we go. That's perfect. Beautiful. All right, perfect. Build, 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 build. Build it all and then import as many people as we possibly can. And hope that that's still within walking range of everything here. It's kind of not. It's kind of a problem. It needs to be within the walking range of this building here. Building is in the way. Uh, can we... 
Can we squeeze this around here? Beautiful. All right. Fantastic. Okay. In fact, look at that. There are already there are already like hundreds of people that are moving out of their uh, of their parents' house. Do I have a? I don't have a, an accounting office yet. To be honest, that's a little bit of an oversight because if I did build that, which I think I'm going to do right now, because I'm feeling I'm feeling flashy. I'm feeling flashy. We're going to do uh, we're going to do some spending. If I was to get that up and running, then we would uh, we would find out exactly how many people are uh, are currently living with their parents. And I tell you what, I feel like that's a little bit of a cliffhanger to to end this episode on. We'll find out in the next episode how much of a how much of an idiot I've been by not building this accounting office a little bit earlier. And so until then, ladies and gentlemen and comrades, of course comrades, uh, do indeed uh, stay tuned. Uh, thank you ever so much for watching. Thanks ever so much for all the support over on the Patreon page. Patreon.com forward slash potato. Thanks to Banana and C Senpai and Aurelio from the 325 Doll Plus tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.